A few years ago, I made the world's blackest room using the darkest paint in the world called Musso Black. Now a lot of people wanted me to paint my car with this, but the channel Dip Your Car already did that. They officially made the world's blackest car. But I'm not done yet. Could we actually make a darker car than the Musso Black car? Well here's the thing, Musso Black is the blackest paint in the world. It absorbs about 99.4% of visible light, but it's not the darkest material. The black market just created a fabric that's darker than anything they've created before. It's called Kiwami, and it actually absorbs 99.9% .9 of visible light. Let's see what this looks like. And thanks to Atmo for sponsoring this video. I'll tell you more about them and their portable air quality monitor at the end of this video. Okay, here we go. Muso Black Fabric Kiwami, the world's blackest fabric. Let's take it out. Oh man, look at that. So you can see how bright these lights are. Look how there's no reflection when it shines on it. <laughs> but if we're gonna wrap a car in it, we need more than a little sheet of the fabric. Here we go, I have a giant roll straight from Japan. Let's wrap the car and see what it looks like. So this is the back side of the fabric. You can see it's not that black reflex, but then look at the right side of it. <laughs> I've used a fabric similar to this in a previous video called Flock Sheet. And this new fabric actually absorbs more light than a 0.2% more light absorption. They have it supported between layers so that the fabric fibers don't get squished. It has the feel of almost a velvet. The way it traps light is that it has tiny little hairs that absorb light. So it's like shining light into a forest of dark fibers so no light can escape back out. Okay, now let's turn this into the world's blackest car. You can see where I haven't done it yet. Look at the difference in color. Okay, we're finally done. Let's see what this looks like outside now. Let's see what it looks like in the daytime and then we'll check it out at night. You can't see any wrinkles, anything. It just completely disappears, complete black here. So there's actually some wrinkles on the bottom here, but you just can't see it at all. Driving this around was amazing. Everybody that I drove past just started staring at the car. Cause you can't quite tell what you're looking at. It's so black, it just looks edited. Only when you get a little closer and feel it, you can tell it's actually a fabric and not paint. This is so cool. Now let's see what it looks like at night. We can shine a flashlight on it and see it light up the background, but not the car. This is so weird. So look at my shadow go across it. <laughs> and the shadow doesn't look any darker than the car itself. <laughs> I happen to have the world's brightest flashlight on me as well. Okay, we're gonna turn to 100,000 lumens. Three, two, one. <laughs> Holy cow. And then you can start to see some reflection. But look how the, but look how the tire's reflecting. Yeah, look at the tire, it blows it out. And then that's how black it is. So if I shine something super bright on it, that 0.1% can actually be visible and we can see the fabric. So what's interesting with this is if we keep the light where I am and get at a really shallow angle, it almost becomes reflective. Look at that. Not black at all, but then come to this angle once you're right in front of it, just disappears into blackness. 
This is because the light isn't entering down into the depths of the hairs, but it's just reflecting off of them now. And before we go, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, Atmo. The developer of the portable indoor and outdoor air quality monitor, AtmoTube Pro. The AtmoTube Pro is equipped with advanced sensors that can measure particulate matter such as dust, pollen, soot, and smoke. With so many wildfires happening around the world, you can keep yourself safe by checking the levels of particles when you're outside and decide whether you should wear a mask. Or you can check the air quality inside your house as well. We all know that smoke can penetrate inside the building. On top of that, it measures VOCs contained in paints, gases, and pesticides. If you're moving into a new home, try to test VOCs to make sure there's no off-gassing as well. Staying alert to changing air quality is crucial for your health. With the AtmaTube Pro, you can test personalized alerts for specific air quality standards, called AQS. If the air quality exceeds the chosen values, you'll receive notifications. It's so small and light, you can clip it to your belt or backpack and check air quality in real time wherever you go. You can create a personal air quality map provided you grant permission for GPS data collection. Let me show you how useful this device can be in everyday situations, whether you're inside your home or out and about. For example, you can test the air quality in different rooms of your home and identify potential sources of pollutants. Inside where I was wrapping my car here, you can see that my air quality is a little bit worse. The PM10 is higher up here, so it's a little dustier, a little more particulates in the air from me wrapping the car. Taking it with you on your daily commute or during outdoor activities can provide valuable insights into the air quality in various locations. So it's a nice clear day today, so my air quality score is actually higher. It's 98 outside. So it's better air outside than inside my house right now. With the AtmoTube Pro, it's like having an entire laboratory in your hands. If you'd like to get yourself one of these, you can click the link in my description. And thanks again to Atmo for sponsoring this video. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and we'll see you next time.